guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel today. Today I'm doing my first real collab with somebody I'm not actually related to. Yay! <laughs> this is Brandon. He's one of my best friends and I love him and I've known him for years. And you might not recognize me because he did my makeup on his channel. So if you guys want to go see how this look happened, uh, his link is down below and you can probably click on his face if my editing skills are cool and you can go over and see this. Um, today I'm going to be doing some stage makeup on him. I'm going to make him old. Um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get some reference photos of old men um, or old women depending on what gender you are or what you want. Um, but that's going to help you with wrinkles and we will move in now. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm doing is putting some foundation on his face. The first foundation I put on there was way too dark, so I'm putting a lighter color in. You can use pretty much any foundation for it. Next, I'm using these two brushes. I'm using the smallest one with my shadow cream color, and I am putting in all the contour lines. Um, so basically, you're just going to make a whole bunch of funny faces and take all of those natural wrinkles and make them dark. Um, you're going to look a little bit like a zebra. I promise it goes away. So now I'm working on his neck. This is the main reason why I use the reference photos. Next I'm going in with the highlight with the bigger brush and I'm literally just putting it all near the shadow line. And that's going to make it actually look wrinkled. Yes, again, you look even more zebra-like, but it goes away, I promise. You gotta trust me on this. So now this is where my camera dies and I do most of the blending. So here you can see I blended half of his face, um, you'll see me blend the other half, but you can kind of see how aged he looks and not stripey on the other side. Um, I'm just taking a simple uh, makeup sponge, I get mine from the dollar store and I'm just blending in. You can also see there are lines that are now darker, I used a different, like, I think it was like a jumbo eyeliner and put in darker lines for the wrinkles I wanted deeper um, and now I'm just blending all in. You can see I'm adding that deeper color there. I did it on the other side so I had to repeat it. I regret it. I've never done facial hair before and it kind of made him look like X-Man um, but hey you live and you learn right? Just gotta blend, blend, blend. Lots of blending. Also, you're probably gonna blend a lot of this out and then realize that you blended too much. So you can always go back and add more. Now you can see I'm working on his neck. Um, you'll see in a second I take it from the side and bring it in. This is gonna give it more depth. Reference photos really, really help, especially when it comes to the neck, because we don't have neck wrinkles if you're young. So now I'm going in with his lips and I'm using the foundation and a sponge and making him do a kissy face and just putting it on his lips. Now I'm taking my shadow color and adding some lines. If you ever look at people who smoke and they're old, they have really wrinkly lips. Now I'm going in with the highlight around it and shock, shock, surprise blending happens. Now I'm taking some of my white hair color, uh, not permanent, putting it in his eyebrows and hair. Um, ideally you would do it throughout the entire hair, but for the sake of the look I only did the outside. I tried his facial hair, didn't look right because it was so short. 
but you can do that as well. Alright guys, so this is the final look of him as an old man. Like I said, it's stage makeup, so the farther you are away from this, the more lifelike it looks. Um, up close and personal, it looks a little just zebra-y. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you liked this little video. Don't forget to go over to his channel, link down below, and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this because they're kind of fun so anyway guys i hope you have a great day and an amazing week bye nothing because i am filming but i had watermelon like a half an hour ago nothing but i'm about to make tea after